Good afternoon everyone, my name is Jack and I'm at Northwest Bus Sales and today I'm going to be showing you a 2010 Ford Girardin. Now this is a uh, Type A school bus as you can see um, on the Ford uh, E450 Super Duty chassis. Let's check this baby out. So uh, first things first, this is powered by the Ford Power Stroke 6 liter diesel engine. Of course, a company with an automatic transmission. Alright, so 2010 Girardin. Uh, Girardin is one of my favorite type A uh, school bus body styles, I'd say. Uh, basically, the things that I notice that stand out from like a, you know other manufacturers, they got big windows going down, there's a lot more ceiling uh, height on the inside, it doesn't curve as much, so if you're doing something like a conversion or anything like that, you get a little bit more room in there. So, and I'll show you that in a little bit. And a huge window here, which is very nice. All right, we're gonna show you the uh, front passenger side tire here. Show you what's going on there. All right, so uh, coming on inside, we have a uh, electric operated bifold passenger entry door. We also got a, a grab rail here on the left white step nosing on the ground I'm uh, not on the ground on the on the steps obviously and then a gray ribbed aisleway stepway all right so we're gonna go over the uh, cockpit area here um, the uh, first things first I have don't really know how these work but it looks like a two-way radio type thing up there with a little mic over here uh, we do have power mirrors up top here Roscoe mirrors uh, driver's seat upholstery no big rips, cuts, tears, anything like that. There's a little tiny one here, but the foam's not like sticking out or anything like that. And if that's a big deal to you, just let us know and we can figure it out. Um, the, uh, yeah, driver's seat upholstery, not overly worn, not all sun faded, no stains. I know with these lighter color seats, sometimes it's really easy to, you know, show off infirmities here, but it actually looks pretty good going all the way down. <clears throat> all right. So, uh, I'm going to show you the mileage here. My camera will focus. Possibly, maybe. Oh, there it goes. 136, 963. Just want to point that out. 136,000 miles on this baby. Uh, going from uh, over here to the right, uh, we got a uh, AM FM CD stereo. It does have an aux input if you want to plug in your phone. Just want to point that out. We do have a PA system down here. So uh, the, the mic up here, this is for the uh, two-way radio thing. This is, uh, this is for the PA system. So, I uh, got your normal climate controls for your driver, just like you'd see in like your like, car or a van. Uh, open and close the door with this switch here. Pretty nice. All of your lights and such. Dome lights, heater, it's a three position switch. You can go low, office in the middle, and then high, just like that. And it's also got heated mirrors as well, which is what that button's for. So I just want to point that out. All right, so in the back here, this is a 20 passenger school bus. You'll notice all these little squares on the bench seats here. Uh, those are called ICS seats, or integrated child seats. So if you, uh, you know, you got a really tiny kid or really young, you can pull that thing down and strap Junior in right there. So uh, it's kind of like a, I compare it to like a car seat basically built into the into the uh, into the seat here because uh, that's what the car seat thing is going to look like but uh, yeah all ICS seats integrated ICS <clears throat> pretty dang cool going all the way down as far as the uh, seat condition no big rips cuts tears the kids were obviously behaved on this bus uh, going all the way back I'll give you a shot of the back room. I'm not even seeing any patch jobs seats were in excellent condition nice and clean shiny no foam sticking out nothing like that all right so uh we have been getting a lot of requests for dimensions because people are converting these to tiny homes motor homes i mean food trucks mobile boutiques you name it people are turning these into something so i got the dimensions here for you uh bumper to bumper 24 feet on the outside 24 feet on the outside uh interior length back of the driver's seat to the back wall over there 15 feet 15 feet and then uh 
Interior width from wall to wall, seven feet, eight inches. So if you think of it like a big rectangle, you got 15 feet of length, seven feet, eight inches of width, bam. And then the interior height is a six three. Interior height, so good to know. All right, I'll show you up here in the little electrical panel, all your stuff, all your uh, fuses and relays and such. It's easily accessible, makes it easy for your mechanics to work on it if needed. That'll do it for the inside. We'll come check out the outside. All right, so we got uh, batteries. Nice little slide out tray here with uh, with two batteries in it. And to be honest, this is if there's ever any rust on a bus, for some reason it always seems to be this slide out tray, which this looks galvanized. But um, yeah, n nice and clean in there. Super beautiful. Exactly what you want to see. I'm uh, going to show you the uh, rear passenger side duals here. Give you a nice pan of that. And a pan of the undercarriage. Not a rusty bus by any means. Alright, so uh, coming around the back before we go around there, I just want to point out the, uh, the skirts and everything. It's not all dented or you know scraped up as far as I can see here nice and straight going down uh, usually these corners are where you're gonna have the most damage on any buses and we got I mean we have minor stuff here very minor infirmities going down looks pr pretty dang good Jordan's also got these huge windows in the back I was gonna convert a type A school bus I think it'd be a Girardin just because of how much light is let in and the windows are nice and big like a huge window in the back here. But this always had a nice look to them. Also, it's a little bit of like a curved radius body. This thing's got some, it just looks like a bus from the future. It's nice. Oh, coming around this side, on the driver's side. Look at that, got a little bit of some action on the rub rail there. A few little tiny scratches on the bumper. Again, these are all just minor cosmetic things. Nothing too crazy. Uh, do want to point out the windows check those babies out no big cracks dings tints looking good it's good going all the way down gonna show you the uh, rear driver side duels and give you a nice pan of the undercarriage looking beautiful uh, got a little spot here for your chains check it Nice little uh, cubby there, always nice. And we got your uh, front driver's side tire here. And the last thing I want to point out is that this does have a Washington State Patrol 2020 safety inspection sticker. And pretty self-explanatory, but what that means is in 2020 it came out of service, or I mean it was in service in 2020, and it passed the Washington State Patrol safety inspection sticker. So it's pretty dang cool. Well, thank you for watching this Northwest Bus Sales exclusive video tour. If you like this bus or any other buses in our lot, you can call us at 1-800-231-7099. Visit us at nwbus.com or email us sales at nwbus.com. Thank you very much for watching.